Hi, it's the 10th day of Christmas, or 10th day of drawing, and the 10th day of Christmas. And today I want to do the hockey players with you. So, um, there's the painting over there, um, the 10th day. And to do it, I mean, the hockey players were a lot of fun, but it takes a lot of practice. And especially, I'm not exactly a hockey player. In fact, I am not a hockey player. But, uh, it's, it's good to watch, and so what I did was practice the whole bunch and it's good to go online, it's good to go, well, if you're a hockey player, it's even better. So what I wanted to do is show you how I would plan out my hockey player. And so what we're going to do is start off really simply. Once again, we're going to make a line for the ground. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put a little circle here, squish circle. We could call that center ice, maybe. And that way we know that he's not just standing on a flat ground, but we're looking into space. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a hockey player here and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that he's going to be that high. Now, the next thing we know is when we're that high, we know that the middle part is going to, oh, his feet are going to be a little off the ground because of the skates. So the middle of the person is right about here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put just a little V-shape there for the, for the groin. And then we'll put a line here for the top of the head, the shoulders. These are just indications. Whoops, the head can even be longer there. There's the chest, here's the groin, and now we'll just put two legs down for his legs. Little stick man. We're going to go out from the shoulders out here, we'll put to his shoulders, and we're going to put a hockey stick across here so his arm is going to come down and he's going to be holding one hockey stick here uh, with one hand, and on the other one he's going to cut hand down here, and the other one's up like that. Uh, halfway down here are the knees, we're going to put a little circle there, and then we'll put just little triangles for the feet, just to indicate it. This is all very rough. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fill things in. Now, I've studied a little of anatomy, so I'm going to have a little, I'm going to tell you that there's a chest there, because here's the rib cage. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill out the legs here. There's muscles on each leg, like that. And there's muscles here. Now, you can look at an anatomy book, but you can even do just a simple tube if you need. A tube like that. It's just that the muscles give you the shape of it. The leg. There's always a little bit of a curve to the leg like that. You can see that in superheroes. And since hockey players are sort of superheroes, we'll put them in there anyways. Then when we go up to the chest, what we're going to do is here, we're just going to go up on each side of the head. There's muscles that turn the head and come down to the neck shoulder muscles, we we'll just put the shoulders right here, down to the elbows, and then this part is like a triangle, here's the biceps. So we've got a person roughed in now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just think about the hockey equipment, and one of the main pieces of hockey equipment I know is, is the big shoulder pads. So what we're going to do is we're going to just come down here, we're going to put shoulder pads on him, like this those big shoulder guards and they they do continue down into the chest so they're going to come down here like this and I believe some of them even come down lower then the pants those big hockey pants so they come just above the knee so we'll put a line just above the knee on each side and they also come around the waist like this now, I've never worn them but I think that's what they look like Okay, so there's the big hockey pants. Then we have the knee pads. So we got the knee pads and the shin pads here. And going down to the to the skates. So this is so that we can, when we cover it all up, we got the right forms. And we got the skates coming down. Skates can be a little bit difficult. If you've got some skates, try drawing them. That would be a lesson all on its own. Put them like this. Put them as if they're coming out at us like this so that we're standing in perspective. Just on an angle like that. We should have actually had that whole foot like that. Now, we're going to go up to the arms. We've got, for the elbows, we've got elbow pads. I think there's something like this. And then, of course, we've got our gloves on. And so these gloves would be like this. And I believe it would be like that. And on the other side, because they're 
holding up. We're going to put a thumb right here. Whoops. A finger and the other fingers. These massive gloves. And now what we're going to do is going to connect all this stuff. We're just going to put, we're going to just put the shirt right over top of it. Or the jersey, excuse me. That would be a big bad thing to say. Shirt. So you put the shirt. I put the jersey. Put the jersey across here. Oh, we should put the hockey stick in. Like this. So now the jersey's there. And now what we can do is I'm drawing these a little bit dark, obviously. But here what we'll do is we'll just put the socks over top. And then I think they have three stripes on here. You can put whatever uniform you want on here. They're nice and bulky because there's a lot of padding. And we can put some laces on for the shoes. My shoes, the skates, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm sure I'm going to get a letter on that one. Okay, and then now his head. So we've got his head like that. Let's put a line down the middle. If you've got, for the head, the eyes are in the middle of the head. So let's just put the eyes right here. The nose is part of the way down the mouth. Square it off a bit. His ears are as long as the distance from the eyes to the nose. And now the helmet. Put the helmet over top of here. Up a, oops, don't want to make it too big. And we can put some lines in here. Of course, you can color that all in. And we should put some stripes on here. And now, of course, if he's a leaf, you'd have to draw the leaf on there. And I believe it's something like this. You have to be very careful when you copy something that is actually copyrighted. Because somebody does own it, I think. So many people like the leaves, they can be right there. Now, and then what you can do is, when you're finished, then you can color it all in and hide that underdrawing, but you know that it's nice and solid because you did all that stuff beforehand. So there's your, your maple leaf. Now, in the book, some of them are, are jumping, like this one right up here. He's, they're all jumping all over the place. And so for that, now what we need to do is we're going to do a line that says, oh, he's jumping up and he's reaching out and here he's reaching for the Stanley Cup. We'll just put the Stanley Cup like we drew the other day right here. And now his legs are back here. He's got this big curve in him. So we'll just do a little stick figure off here like this. His leg's coming off here. The other leg is going to come here. Whoops. He's going to be jumping in behind him. We'll put his pelvis. And we'll put his rib cage. And we can put his head up here because it's bent back. And then his arms. And then what we're going to do is the same what we did before, only we're going to just this time what we'll do is we'll just go right to, we'll do like a tube right here. And we'll do the pants. Here's the knees. There's the muscles behind, so they'll go down. Here's the, the skates. We'll put those in after. And the other one, here's the legs. So we're going to. Again, the big hockey shorts. He's going to be jumping. And then what we're going to do is put his jersey on. His shoulder pads will be pushing up here like this. And his shirt will be stretched. Here's his elbow pad underneath. We'll go up to his shirt. And then what will happen is we'll put his hands like this. So he's really trying to grab. And the same thing here, we put the knees, we put the muscle in behind here, and we put our skates. And so for the skates, what we do is we, whoops, put them back like that, put them down, Is out like that, the other skates here like this. And we put those stripes on. And there we go. And that's, oops, and then the helmet. He's going to have his helmet on. Well, it's going to come down like this. And his ears and his nose is behind here. 
was grabbing for that. And that's how I plan out how I do my hockey players. From a stick figure to a padded warrior. There we go. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And I uh, look forward to more drawing with you tomorrow.